All right, card review part eight. Let's go. The first card we have is Eager Underling, four mana, two, two. Death Rattle, give two friendly minions, plus two, plus two. I think this is kind of like Fungal Mancer, but honestly worse. Uh, with Fungal Mancer, when you give minions the buff, you get to, uh, you get to uh, control where that damage goes on the turn that you play it. It's kind of like you have a charging plus two, plus two, or charging plus four, plus four on two different minions, but with the Death Rattle, it can very easily, especially with it being a 2-2, it's decided on your opponent's turn where those buffs are going to go and like uh, how those trades act. And that's not really all that good in comparison to Fungal Mancer. I think this card is like printed for standard because in wild it's not very good, I don't think. All right, the next card we have is Magic Trick. And first off, I really love the card art for this card. He's doing like a little child's magic trick where he pulls his finger off and he's got like a really serious look on his face. Like, dude, look at this. Look what I can do. I'm a wizard. Anyway, the card. At first glance, it seems like a worse Primordial Glyph, but it's not that. It doesn't do the same thing as Primordial Glyph. It's around the same like uh, spectrum of Primordial Glyph, but what this card does different is it selects cards from a much smaller pool than Primordial Glyph could. And if you're looking for a specific, like, low cost, good card for whatever situation, you could run this card instead of Glyph or alongside Glyph, I guess, to get that card. I should note that every single secret in the game is in this pool so if you're looking for secrets there's that but you're not guaranteed a secret but if you don't want a secret you might get a secret i don't know i feel like glyph is still better but this card does stuff different than what glyph does all right so we got a weird spell druid card is spell druid gonna be a thing i don't i don't think so if spell druid were a thing would you want this card maybe you get three random druid minions. It's pretty valuable. We've seen cards like Omega Assembly where the card is really good value. It's uh, one card for three minions. That's pretty cheap, but the requirement for Omega Assembly is a lot easier to pull off. You just have to wait until turn 10 to get it off. In this, you have to build your deck around it, whereas Omega Assembly, you don't have to build your deck around it. This card could be good in a spell druid if it were to exist, not just be some kind of like controlly combo deck, which is probably just a better option anyway. But it could be good because it gives you what your spell deck doesn't have already, which is minions. So I think it has potential, but not a lot of it. So last time we talked about four mana deal four cards. Uh, we decided that they're usually bad but now we have vendetta which might actually be good and why is this card different it's because i think is because it's rogue on top of the fact it's uh, if you're running this in a burgle rogue the condition is going to be very easy to meet and then it is a zero mana card which rogue can do a lot with zero mana cards being you can use it like a, an eviscerate where you can't go face for zero mana and it can also activate your combos for incredibly cheap and efficient removal it's i think it's pretty all right last card of the day we have is plot twist and it's a very weird and wonderful card i love this card at first i thought it could be like oh this is just like a dead man's hand but better but it's not you have to do a little bit of setup to make it work as a dead man's hand you can make it work but you need both copies of plot twist in your hand and you need two copies of elec you need to put one elec on the board and then you need to play Plot Twist, and it'll shuffle two Elix and two Plot Twists into your deck, and you'll be back at where you started with two Elix and two Plot Twists. But every time you want to do the infinite shuffle, you need to play out an Elix and a Plot Twist. On top of the fact that this doesn't deal with fatigue in the same way that Plot Twist does. What this card is regularly for is for like a reset of like, is my hand bad? What can I get in my deck that's better? Uh, 
I think that's pretty good. Some people talk about Solarium being a combo with this card, where you draw three cards and then you shuffle them back into your deck and negate the discard. So you do like a three mana, draw three, and you reset the rest of your hand as well. Um, another card that people talked about is with Fell Lord Betrug. You can play out Fell Lord Betrug, and then you can play this card and then you shuffle your hand into your deck and get new cards and then you summon a bunch of minions of Bell Lord Betrug. Is this card good? I think so. It's a very well designed fun card and I think people are going to experiment it with it a lot. That's going to be it for this episode. I'm trying to catch up to all the card reveals before the expansion comes out so keep your eyes out. I'm going to have a lot more videos coming out here soon.